so welcome back to the channel everybody this is our redo of the last video i deleted and i felt i felt like i needed to delete that video because uh, it left out some stuff okay so uh we're redoing it and uh, hopefully this way um everybody will understand how to actually disable the um, start stop mechanism on the bronco um, and how you do it and what it's for and all that kind of stuff Number one, you got to take the doors off, okay? This is the way it works for me. Um, it may only work for my Bronco. It may work for the group of Broncos made it my time. and maybe only works for 2021s. I don't know. I would just say try it and see if it works for you. Um, but first, obviously, a step that I missed. Uh, I obviously, people don't read the scrolls a whole lot, so we're going to just talk about it. Uh, you got to take the doors off your Bronco. Once you take your doors off the Bronco and once you do this, you can put the doors back on and it, it will still be disabled um, until you um, take the disable off and then you can't redo it with the doors on. It won't work. So you got to take the doors off um, to make this work. At least, like I said, at least it works for me. Um, and from there, uh, uh, you know, it's not that hard really um so what we're gonna do is right now it's a little hot um and i did a little part of the video that shows that um the uh, stop start is not turning the engine off it's too hot it's in the 90s has a little um it t actually tells you why it's not turning off so we don't want that to happen because we want people to think well it's too hot there's several things why the um start stop will not turn off and it'll keep the engine working uh one of the reasons it might be too hot uh, there's uh, you know there's probably about i think about eight or nine reasons why it'll stay on um it can be too cold it'll stay on um you could have the um rear defrost on and it'll stay on uh there's a lot of reasons why it will stay on so we don't want any of those conditions to affect this so we're waiting till it cools down a little bit and then we'll do the rest of the video here so you can see exactly how this works. But um, I want to say that this is not a Ford, um, this is not a Ford official way to uh, disable the start stop. Ford has it where it's not ever going to be a permanent disable start stop. They don't have that in the system. So let's make that clear. Um, this is a workaround or a loophole maybe you want to call it so this is something that will get you this start stop off um without uh, buying a part an additional gizmo or something to permanently turn off which is fine i mean they're not they're not very expensive 100 bucks and you can get one of these and plug it in and you never have to worry about start stop i just happened to come about it um but playing around and i was like whoa look at this this works uh so um, and you know, it just may be a fluke. I have a 2021 four door Bronco 2.7 Lux package. I have no idea if it, if it's just because it's that package. I don't know if it's because people have said it could be because of chips. Uh, people said it could be, um, just, you know, almost like a, um, I can't remember what they, something kind of explain. Kind of like what your seatbelt minder. Uh, there's a certain way you can do that on cars and you can disable that um, where your seatbelt doesn't chime all the time when you have your seatbelt off. It's kind of one of those things and this may be something to do like that. I don't know. But um, anyway, my biggest thing is I wanted to show you what I did and it worked for me. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to work on your vehicle. Uh, you know, mine might have a weird chip in it. Who knows? I don't know. But it's worth a try. Um, I think there's some people who have said that uh, I got some feedback on that it actually worked for them but they happen to have their doors off as well. So um, that's probably a big part of it. So one of the conditions is that when the driver's side door is open, so the auto start stop will not come on and it'll continuously run the engine. So obviously if you have all four doors off, which I don't really think Ford meant to do this, um, that it would, I think they probably meant for it to still start stop. Um, but if you have all four doors off, um, you know, um, it's probably part of that uh, where the driver's the driver's door is off, um, and so that shouldn't affect it, but it does, I guess. So anyway, this is a way around it. Um, so we're gonna go through the whole thing. 
where you're not missing any any parts uh, when I do it on the display. Um, it's still really easy. I just, uh, like I said, I took in the doors off and uh, uh, I guess I should have made that more clear uh, that that was probably part of this. So uh, as soon as, it, like I said, as soon as it uh, cools down a little bit, um, we're going to go out and we're going to do head, go ahead and do the actual uh, sequence uh, to make it a permanent disable, um, at least on my vehicle. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, uh, but it works. Um, and we'll go drive around and I'll show you that you could stop and uh, it's not gonna turn off and it's not turn. it's not gonna do it. So it works. It's uh, just like I said, it's probably just a loophole. Um, and like I said, uh, at least a loophole in engineering or whatever they did or chip or whatever it may be but it works so let's uh let's go ahead and um we'll just end it like this let's get started and that way uh hopefully by the time it'll cool down all right talk to you in a little bit so <clears throat> okay so what you're gonna do is again push the back button go down one Go to trip, click down to auto start, and push that button. And you'll see that it says deactivated by the driver. So obviously now, that button is on, or it's, I should say it's not pushed off. If it was pushed off, the little off light would be on, illuminated, but it's not. But over here, as you can see, it's on, okay? So now it's deactivated, all right? So we're kind of losing a little bit of dark or light here. So we're gonna go try to drive around so you can see that it's not gonna stop it. So as it gets cooler, let's just break off here. One second, hopefully I can do this without my GoPro. All right, so let's go ahead and drive around. And show you that it doesn't matter. I can start it, I can stop it. It's not gonna matter. All right, so let's go ahead and go forward. stop and let's turn the car off Oops. let's start it back up and you can see it's still on there whoops well let's see actually if you're going it will be not on there sorry Let's try to make them stop. Now it should come on. And there it is. So when you come to the complete stop, that little symbol comes on. The engine's still running. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay. Again, if you move, it'll come back off. If you stop, it'll come back on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for traffic for people.
goes and the engine's still running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and shut the engine off. It's off, start it back up. And it still works. So as soon as I start going, and then come to a stop, work. here okay there's our symbol we're stopped engine's still running let me just okay so let's go ahead and shut it off okay let's get it all the way completely off screens off screens off let's turn it back on and there you have it it's on all right, now as soon as I start to go, it'll come off. There you go. And I can stop it right here. I'll stop it for a few minutes. All right, it's still on. As you notice, the RPMs are still going. The car is not turning off. It's plenty cool out. Everything is good. And this is how it'll be. There's no turning this off if you do this. This is how it'll work, and uh, your stop start will be disabled. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, it's gonna be disabled, okay? So, um, unless you uh, reset your, unless you reset your, uh, reset your uh, computer, uh, then that'll wipe that out. So you can see it came off because we're driving now. And so that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you got to do. It just got to go through that process and it will work. So let's take a look at this little part right here, what this says. Removal of doors for off-road use only will affect safety system performance. Turn vehicle off before reconnecting the doors. But the trick is, is to reconnect the driver's door before you turn it off. Then all the rest of the doors don't matter. It's just the driver's door. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's how I uh, deactivate the start-stop. 
and that seems to work for me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work for anybody else. But anyway, it's as best of proof as I can show you that it works. Um, and you can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can stop for a long time. It doesn't matter. It's not going to come back on. Uh, the start stop is deactivated. So that's all there is to it. There's not a lot to it. I am adding... Um, I am going to put the other video on private, so it's no longer going to be able to be seen by everybody. Uh, but I want to have it there just in case I ever need it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, again, thanks everybody for watching and liking and subscribing and giving me feedback. I love it. Uh, so hopefully uh, some of you guys will get out there and take your doors off and uh, not worry about your start stop. And uh, actually just leave your doors off. It's fun, man. Uh, I had to put them back on because it rained. Uh, few days back but other than that uh it's pretty fun right now take them off leave them off <laughs> all right guys until next time bronco mania <laughs>